I'll be priming my eyes with my NYX eyeshadow base in ESV03, and it's just a nude colored eyeshadow base. Using my Studio Basics eye blending brush and my Maybelline Expert Wear Chic Naturals in brown tones, I'll be applying the lighter brown all over the lid up to my brow bone. Switching it to a smudging brush, I'll be applying the darker tone from the palette all over my crease. Using my thin eyeliner brush and my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'll be lining my eyelid to prep it for the blue eyeshadow and eyeliner that we'll be applying. Here I'm lining my eye with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Mainline right on top of my Milk Jumbo Pencil and lining it on top of the base will ensure that it will stay on all night. Using the same thin eyeliner brush, I'll be applying this gorgeous blue for my second edition BH Cosmetics palette. Using my ALF eyeshadow brush, I'll be smoking out the very corners and winging it out just a little bit. For my favorite part, the glitter. I'm using my MAC Glitter Eyeliner in Spun Silver, but you guys could use any glitter that you guys have available. I know that a lot of makeup lines make glitter eyeliners or loose glitters. I know NYX and I think NYC make glitter as well, just to, to name a few, but you could use anything that you guys have. Here I'm prepping my eyeshadow for my false lashes using my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. Grabbing my Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in 03, these are the natural, lightweight, and reusable packet with the applicator that's included. And I'm also using the glue that comes with it because it's a 16 hour wear and this will just ensure that your eyelashes won't move and they'll stay in place. And here I'm just applying a thin coat of the Maybelline mascara from the beginning. Using the same Maybelline palette in 70D brown tones, I'm taking that light brown and going over the little white area that was left behind by my Jumbo Pencil by NYX Cosmetics and just cleaning it up and blending all the colors together. I'm using the same eyeliner by Urban Decay and tight lining to just bring the whole look together and make the look a little darker. No 4th of July look is complete without a red lip. I'm using my Boutique Lip Liner in Real Red, and I purchased this from CVS um, a few months back, but it is still there if you guys want to go ahead and purchase it. It's a gorgeous red lip liner that goes perfect with my Ruby Woo from MAC Cosmetics. I want something that's going to stay on all day and night, so I'm using my 16-hour Smooch Proof Lip Stain by NYC in Rock on Ruby. Since I have a lot going on, I didn't want to apply any blush, so I'm contouring my face with my NYC Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny, and I'm also just blending everything out to make sure everything looks nice and even. I'm also applying my Maybelline Illuminator under my eyes and on my Cupid's bow to make me look a little more awake, and applying it on the Cupid's bow will make your lips look a lot fuller. Now set everything in with the setting spray. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my last minute quick 4th of July makeup tutorial that I uploaded here on my channel. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and keeping me going and doing what I love to do. I hope you guys all have a safe and fun 4th of July and I will see you in my next video.